her, tell her I ain't see it. What is the word, nigga? We ain't like everything that you do. It got me thinking. I went in the game, they think that I'm cheating. Today we finna react to Houdini and the city of fallen rappers. Some of my Toronto subscribers that told me to react to this too. I could get in tune with, you know, the six. So we finna get right into it. Let's see what they talking about. Ah. Look at this goof ass ass show. I'm finna skip this shit right ahead right now. Wow. But target, you're rapping about these people. Your house is ten times the size of oh, they house. That would make me dislike me if I was on the other side. That's true. Booze is uh, speaking facts. Uh, I don't need you all I need it myself. I was a national body for help. She wanted me because the name ringing bells. Design of the juice or design of the bell. He was just like my favorite rapper, literally, of anyone. He was my favorite. When you really think about it, yeah, most artists do get killed in their, their home city. Mm -hmm. And why do you think that is? Patriot. People looking at you, saying, I wish that was me. Bullets sent many fleeing for their lives here on this stretch. Now, the 21-year-old has been identified as a popular Toronto rapper. All right, we got to talk about the Houdini story, right? The jealousy and hatred rappers got to... Damn, I reacted to him, man. Go look at that reaction. It's going to be at the end of the video. That's crazy. They Y'all had actually informed me in the comments that he was dead. I was like, hell no, he ain't dead. I seen it was like a couple years old. That's why I was like, what the hell? But, you know, I still reacted to it. Fucking crazy. Deal with in their own home city is terrible. And that's a fact in every state in America. But one of the most violent cities right now for up and coming rappers to make it out of is Toronto. And people don't realize this. There's a reason Toronto's becoming one of the most surveyed cities in North America. It's looking like Beijing. They're getting cameras everywhere. Damn. Only Atlanta, <laughs> Chicago, and DC got more surveillance. Look at my city right there. Right there. Crazy, we gotta do better, man. Seven hundred and like forty murders this year. There's no city even near that. I be having some dorks in my comments and shit. Like it be some dorks talking about some uh um you a pussy whatever. You not from no. It's like shady. Chicago another beast. If only y'all knew. But yeah, I ain't know the T get it in like that. Toronto, damn they got, bro. We got thirty five thousand fucking cameras in Chicago, bro. And we and they get away with everything, like, you know, crazy. Per person. And that's because of the ongoing gang war that's been escalating for years, right? It's literally hunting season on rappers. And that's exactly what happened to Houdini. Houdini was sitting down with record labels in LA, New York, collabing with Pop Smoke. This kid was the real deal. Until Man, a couple weeks ago, he was crazy. brutally shot and killed in broad daylight in the entertainment district of downtown Toronto. And this shit was surgical. They used Glock 9s with 30 round mags. They took advantage of Corona season by wearing medical masks to hide their faces. There was a Ugh. six year old kid that got caught in the crossfire dodging bullets. That has a high capacity magazine. It's a 30 round magazine. And as this unfolds, I want you to pay attention to the little boy that ducks into the vestibule. They just mean an extended clip. Why the fuck they saying it like that? 30 round magazine. Say a fucking extended clip, man. Y'all say, I'm thinking about a fucking 50 round drum. I like a drum. Like, Doug died with a, uh, y'all, if y'all know FBG Doug, he had died with a, a 30 clip too. So fuck a 30 clip, man. I need a 50 clip. 50 fucking drum titty, you know what I mean? The whole thing was nuts, right? And the city is shook right now. Now we're gonna get into all this, but before we do, my song of the day today is none other than Houdini himself. Let's go. You know it's crazy, man. You could tell he was getting money, man. He had the drip, he had the sauce, he had the look. You know what I mean? That's just jealousy, man. At the end of the day, people don't want to see you farther than them because they they got the same goals as you, probably. Crazy. Alright, in order to understand this story, we gotta focus on one hood in particular in Toronto called Driftwood or Northside Jane and Finch. And this is where Houdini's from. Now they're by far the most influential in terms of music in the city, but they're also a notorious crip faction, right? They beef with pretty much everybody in the city. 
to the south of them, the south side of Jane and Finch, they bang blood, and that's their direct rivals. The lowest income neighborhood in the city called Regent also has tension with Driftwood, stemming from rap beefs and rap killings. And another area called Rexdale has rap beefs and rap- That's crazy, they got projects in Canada, wow, you'd never think that shit and be in America. God. Killings. And another area called Rexdale has been Driftwood's rival for damn near a decade now. So they beef with everybody. Now in 2015, Perfect. Driftwood kids kinda instilled the Chirac music vibe up in the north, in Canada. They were putting disses to rivals in their tracks. Hey man, I fuck with it. like, I'm not a hater man, I'm from Chicago, we started a lot of shit. I'm not a hater though, you know what I'm saying? I like to see people influence and wanna uh, continue the evolution of what? People from my city started, man. That shit, that's growth. That's development. That shit hard as hell. I fuck with it. Because I want to inspire somebody else like somebody inspiring me. You know what I mean? And talking about the stuff they were doing in the streets in their lyrics. If you diss my niggas, then you know we pulling triggers. Late nights with them killers, we kidnapping drug dealers. Now that song is Robert Banks featuring Pressa. Pressa is one of the few who actually crossed over to the mainstream American scene. And he's actually living in Cali right now in a nice mansion. His rap career popped off for him. But before all that, he was involved in a case where he allegedly kidnapped two drug dealers, moving them around from location to location holding them for ransom until eventually forcing them to give each other head in front what? of everybody two dudes that's crazy now Pressa was later cleared of those charges and granted the court's permission to go on tour with drake that's kind of gay i ain't gonna cap gang that's kind of gay <laughs> shorty on some fig shit nah but he ain't do it he got cleared of it so you know i'm just saying like if you make two motherfuckers give each other head man there's something wrong with you <laughs> Drake out in England, and another rapper got six years in Press's place for the charge. Now, Press's partner, Robin Banks, who was in that track that I- Hold on, but why the fuck would they even do it? You gotta kill me for that, oh God. <laughs> Hell, the people build different. Just showed he was practically the pioneer for the scene, right? Mm. He had the torch early on from 2015, and he kind of started this organic, hood label in Driftwood, where he was putting on all the rappers from his area. Robin Banks started getting millions of views, caught the attention of Meek Mill, who really rocked with the movement. Meek Mill and Robin Banks were sending paperwork back and forth. He was about to sign a deal with the Dream Chasers, and to celebrate, he was having the party at a hookah lounge called Cameo, where unfortunately, his ops found out about it, infiltrated the party, and shot him up nine times, Damn. leaving him in critical condition. Just as this man was about to cross over to the U.S. scene, they orchestrated that hit on him. Now, thankfully, Robert Banks is alive, but he's paralyzed from the neck down. And his ops were super disrespectful, posting memes of him in a wheelchair and stuff. Now, he's still doing Damn. his thing, releasing tracks, and of course, pushing the rappers from Driftwood on his label. But the rivals going after Robert Banks like that really escalated the violence in the city. And it made it kind of a trophy for people to target rappers. This was like the first high-profile assassination attempt on a rapper who was about to cross over. Now the next year, the most influential artist out of the country was Smoke Dog. Now I'm not from Toronto, you don't gotta be from Toronto to know Smoke Dog. He was getting co-signed by Drake, doing shows in the UK, in the US, and he's from the place called Regent Park. Now this is pretty much the trenches, right? It's the lowest income community in the whole city, but it's not very close to Driftwood. And because of that, they didn't really have too much tension back and forth until one summer night at a club in 2018, Smoke Dog got into a heated argument with a Driftwood rapper by the name of 21 Neat, and this shit escalated quickly, right? They stepped outside where 21 Neat shot and killed Smoke Dog and his manager. Probably one of the most gruesome after death videos I've seen of a rapper, right? People were filming him and Smoke Dog's brain matter was like leaking on the road. It was a wild scene. Now this pretty much gave Regent the green light neat and this shit escalated quickly, right? They stepped outside where 21 Neat shot and killed Smoke Dog and his manager. Yeah. Probably one of the most gruesome after death videos I've seen of a rapper, right? People were filming him and Smoke Dog's brain- That's another thing, we in 2020. They got King Von dying on camera. They got dude right here dying on camera. They got everybody dying on camera. I don't want to die on a fucking camera. But everybody's so quick to just pull the motherfucking phone out, you know? Man, where the fuck is my phone? Yeah, everybody's so quick to pull the fucking phone out.
rain matter was like leaking on the road. It was a wild scene. Now this pretty much gave Regent the green light to go after Driftwood as retaliation. And this created a whole bunch of new problems in the city where two neighborhoods that otherwise didn't have too much tension now had maximum levels of tension. And Driftwood didn't really care. Like they were welcoming all smoke. Now the Toronto police didn't arrest the rapper 21 Neat for quite some time. They couldn't find him. There were even rumors that he escaped to Somalia, but he eventually got found out all the way out in the west coast of the country near Vancouver, where he was extradited back to Toronto to stand trial for the murder of Smoke Dog. Now this is when the story gets wild because 21 Neat has a brother who goes by the name of 22 Neat, right? They're both from Driftwood, they're from the same block as Pressa, Robin Banks, they're all homies. Which is why it was weird when everyone found out five months ago in December of 2019, 22 Neat killed his own homie and fellow rapper on their label named YS. <laughs> YS had just gotten back from doing a bit in jail and he was on a bunch of tracks that were getting hundreds of thousands of views and out of nowhere the feds found YS's body all the way out on the west coast of the country near Vancouver and the rumors started circulating that 22 Neat, his own homie, was the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody really knows why he did it, but some people say it was over money. That's not been confirmed. Anyways, 22 Neat knew there would be repercussions, so he fled to a place called Calgary, Alberta. But he didn't last long. They actually found him dead two days later Damn. as revenge for what he did to the homie YS. Now at this point, the city's in crisis, and Driftwood was putting out all this talent. How is the gun laws in Canada, man? Let me know down in the comments. Is it like America? Is it harder? Is it easier? You know? But this horrific stuff kept happening. T-Mobile está renovando su red a un ritmo sin precedentes. Fuimos los primeros en traer coberturas. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 30, 30. The next to pop out of the city was this rap duo formed by two brothers from Driftwood known as the Talib Twins. They had this track with 5 million views that was scorching hot in the city and in the US as well before one of the twins eventually got locked up. So the other twin decided to keep the momentum going and kept releasing these fire tracks under the name The Talib Twin. In February of 2020, The Talib Twin was at a condo party on the 32nd floor of an Airbnb rental when two of his ops infiltrated the party and started opening fire. The Talib Twin fired back and managed to kill both of them before he himself died at the scene. And there's a bunch of speculation as to what happened. I mean, you can't make this shit up, right? Like some people say he tripped and shot himself. But the feds believe he went into another room in the condo and just ended his own life. Like, the story's crazy. And the thing with Driftwood and the politics in the city is they beef with so many places that sometimes it's hard to say who is responsible for targeting. They got a lot of enemies. And then of course, at the end of May, the single biggest name out of Toronto who's not Drake or Tory Lanez or The Weeknd was the rapper Houdini. Now, as I said in my intro, this is a kid who is sitting down with record labels in New York and Los Angeles. He was gonna go places. But unfortunately, as the trend is in the city, Houdini was in the entertainment district of Toronto late in the afternoon. And little did he know, there was a Volkswagen Tiguan that was lying in wait on the east side what? of a street called Blue Jays Way, which is right where he had to go by. They were waiting for a long time, over 40 minutes. And Houdini was with a 15 year old boy at the time, and they were making their way down the street. And once they got in range of the Volkswagen, a lone shooter got out of the vehicle and started unloading a bunch of clips in Houdini's direction. There was this little kid who was caught in the crossfire as well as a family. Like this whole thing is on CCTV footage, right? It's heart wrenching. And they unloaded a bunch of clips into Houdini who got hit and kept running, right? Adrenaline, even if you get wounded mortally, you could still run because you got adrenaline. So he was running with a bunch of bullets in his body and then eventually collapsed and died. And the 15 year old kid who was with Houdini was also strapped and he was trying to get off shots back at the assailants and then his gun jammed, right? Which he got rid of in an alleyway and ran away. Now Meek Mill, Tory Lanez and a whole bunch of others took to social media to express their condolences as soon as this happened. And you could see just how much the industry was rocking with Houdini. Like this was a kid who was about to make it. But just look at Toronto. The city is in shambles right now. Like the retaliation killings have already been ordered. Houdini's own memorial got shot up they in this ridiculous online, video. Man, they be telling on the internet, man. Just shut the fuck up.
Man, everybody be snitching. So you can see on YouTube, it's like this drive-by style video where out of the darkness, this car pulls up, starts opening fire into a crowd. The whole crowd is strapped up, so they immediately start firing back, but this shit is nuts. I know this happens in the States, it's nothing new, but I'm coining Toronto the city of the fallen rappers because the trend recently of the up-and-coming rappers who are now dead is just unparalleled. Like, you can't compare it. Man, but yeah, man, that's it for this video. Here. Rest in peace to Houdini. Gone but not forgotten. Check out his music when you get a chance. And yeah, man, his music I'll hard. see you in the next one. Y'all gotta give me some more Houdini music down in the comments below. Shit, man. It's a million other cities just like Toronto, man. Look at every city in the U.S. Anywhere you got brown, black people at, minorities, you know, rapping. All trying to do the same thing. It's like crabs in a bucket, man. They're not going to let somebody get over them, you know? It's just how it works. That's just how it is. When you come from poverty, nobody wants to see you make it. That's just how life is. But shit, RP Houdini, RP all the rappers, shit, man. We got to do better as a whole, you know? North America. Fucked up. Super Ike, you want me to wreck some more Toronto Raptors, UK, whatever? Comment down below. I got you, man. Follow me on Instagram at Ikeo. And then, you know, turn on post notifications. Subscribe. Super Ikeo, I'm out.